Hello, this is Francisco Kribari, and I just want to briefly share with you an experience that I had in the last few days. This laptop runs uh, Arch Linux Plus KDE Plasma, and that's currently version 5.13.1. And I have an Intel uh, GPU here, an integrated Intel video card i don't have uh, an nvidia gpu so i decided to give uh, wayland a try for the first time and i ran wayland for three or four days and the good news is that it was very stable i did not experience a single crash so i was quite impressed and uh, i only experienced some minor issues that i'm gonna outline but uh, Kwin is very works very well with Wayland, and the KDE devs are to be congratulated by that. Before I go on, I recommend that you take a look at the Wayland Arch Week page, and also the KDE page in the Arch Wiki. And here in the KDE page, you see that. Uh, all you need to do is to install this package here, plasma wayland session and its dependencies. And then in the login screen, you will see a small box in the lower left corner of the KDE SDDM login screen, where you click and choose between plasma, which means Xorg, and plasma wayland. And then I ran Wayland for several days. It was quite stable. I only had a few minor issues. My first issue was the cursor, was, which was oversized. I just went into system settings and I reduced the size of my cursor. I believe other users reported that as well. Additionally, this pager here is not available under Windows. You see that we can click here and change desktops, and that's not available. You still can switch between workspace or virtual desktops using a keyboard shortcut, but pager is not um, available. Additionally, I was not able to get uh, Windows previews in the taskbar in the KDE panel you see here if I hover the mouse here I can see previews for the active windows and I did not get that uh, under Wayland even though I had the same settings that I have here you see under display and monitor compositor keep windows thumbnails only for show windows I had exactly the same setting under Wayland, but I would not be able to. I was not able to get those previews, and uh, you see that uh, I have the wobbly window desktop effect activated, and when I moved it some of my windows, I would see some small black artifact around the window. That, that was a minor issue and uh, you can search Google search for this page here plasma dash Wayland showstoppers and here you find more details and as for Wayland uh, uh, a shortcoming is that uh, there are almost no software that can be used to record the, the desktop like I'm doing here. I'm using simple screen recorder and that's that does not work under Wayland and there are not many alternatives for uh, recording the desktop for screen casting. Additionally, uh, here X Randar. Oops, X Rand R. Uh, XRend R is quite useful, it's a very useful tool, especially for me. I'm always 
giving lectures and talks at uh, professional conferences and so on. So I need to connect my laptop to many different uh, external monitors and mostly to projectors, to external projectors. And oftentimes I need to change the resolution using x and r manually change the resolution of the refresh rate using x and r and as far as i know there is no similar tool uh, for under wayland that's not uh, of course that's not a bug or whatever it's a feature is the way wayland works and but um, uh, i i find x and r to be quite useful so that's something that I would lose by switching for good to Wayland. And I understand that there are still serious issues as far as NVIDIA displays and Wayland comp compatibility, but that's not an issue for me here because I am not, um, I'm running Arch Linux under under a laptop that does not have uh, an NVIDIA GPU. But overall, I was quite impressed by, by the progresses that uh, the KDE devs made. KWIN works very well with uh, Wayland, I would say. I did not experience crashes or any major issues in three or four days running. <coughs> Uh, KD Plasma under Wayland. So the KD devs are to be congratulated and that's what I wanted to share with you.